All right, uh, let's look at the center of mass, All right? Let's say on, um, on x-axis, uh, you have a mass M1 and a mass M2, All right? And uh, M1 is located at uh, x1 on the uh, x-axis, and um, M2 is loca located at x2. All right, so what we want to do is uh, we want to find the point, uh, let's call it x bar, where we can balance uh, these two masses. All right, so the way to think of it is that uh, we are looking for a location where we put uh, two combined two combined masses. So let's say you combine uh, m1. So here's m1. I put it right here. And then you have M2, so put that right, right on top, and M2. So, and the combined mass at the X bar is going to have the same mass, uh, same moment as the, uh, the two moments from M1 and M2 combined. So the easy way that the equation would be, so the combination of, um, let's see, uh, M1 and uh, M2 located at the x bar we have to equate that with the combination of those moments uh, separately so it's m1 x x1 plus uh, m2 x2 all right so it is easy uh, to find the formula if you have a kind of a discrete case here uh, all you have to do is just um, uh, divide through by m1 and m2 so that the x bar is going to be simply uh, m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by uh, m1 plus m2. Alright, so uh, we got that. So that's the formula. So if you have only like one direction, one dimension, uh, what if uh, can can we extend this idea to um, say two dimensional uh, object, right? So let's say you have a, a metal plate or something like that. Then we're looking for the center of mass. So I'm gonna just kind of eyeball the center of mass. Uh, that will be maybe it's a pattern on this side, so it's gonna be toward that. So let's say. It's going to be somewhere on there. So say this is going to be a center of mass, x bar comma y bar, right? Then we would do the same thing, except that the, this is not going to be a, a discrete case. It's kind of a continuous case. So I'm going to call this guy region R, right? So we're going to have to use uh, uh, integration. So let's say, um, so the mass, the entire mass, is, I'm going to use a capital M. So this is a mass for the entire uh, metal plate. Then I placed it at, um, say, x bar. I'm going to just use um, uh, on the x direction first. Right? This has to be uh, e uh, set equal to. Uh, so we have to integrate over the region R. Right? Let's say this metal plate has a density. So density. would be uh, rho x comma y. All right. So uh, density depends on the location of the plate. So plate might have a thicker place or a different material and so on, have different density. So what we want to do is, uh, so it's going to be, so, then, so for a little, think of a little region, uh, dx by dy you multiply by its density to get the mass. So the mass is going to be um, rho uh, times dx dy. So this is going to give you the mass. Then times the location. Uh, so location is going to be just uh, x. And so we, we have this uh, integral here, right? So in order to find the um, uh, uh, x bar, we just have to divide through by capital M. So x bar is going to be equal to, 
right, uh, the integral over the uh, region R of x times density dx dy all over uh, the total mass, right? So that will give us the uh, x bar, right? We can do the same thing, and you can kind of guess what happens to the y bar. So y bar is going to be integral over the region R, and a y, and a rho dx dy all over the uh, entire mass, right? So this will give us the center of mass. So here, uh, let's see. So this guy is going to give us the center of mass, right? And this is just a little note. Uh, if um, the, the density is constant, uh, you can think of it, it's one or something like that, then the center of mass is called a centroid. Right? So if somebody is asking for a centroid, uh, this is exactly the same thing as the, the center of mass of the same region uh, with, the, with the constant density. Right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.